the woodworkers occupied this portion of the land belonging to the defunct jute factory in 1996 for almost 27 years the artisans have been conducting their trading activities without any interruption but in september 2020 managers of the state-owned jute factory served the woodworkers with eviction notice the notice was ignored because the artisans claimed that there was no relocation plan attached to it. On June 1, 2021, another eviction letter was served to them. Once again, they ignored it. Then just some few weeks ago, the construction of a fence wall began to forcefully evict the woodworkers. At the time of visit to the disputed area, there was a confrontation between the artisans and some people who have been asked to erect the fence wall. The woodworkers say they will only vacate the land with a relocation plan. If government feels this land is for this factory, if he feels he has better things to do with the, the land, at least he can relocate us. That will solve everything. If Because if government owns something and he wants to decide and he wants to sell it to any part, anybody or he wants to do any business with it, we, we can't stop him. But he knows we are Ghanaians, we pay taxes, we also feed people, we feed families. So at least, this is all part of development. So at least government can reconsider, okay, I'm moving you from this side to this side. We are okay with it, we are not resisting anything. But all that we are pleading for is, this is where we get our daily bread. So at least, we should be considered, we are Ghanaians. This is where we are going to get Woodworkers in Aloga were relocated when government needed the land for a project. Same as traders in Agogloshi. Why are we not relocated? We are over 3,000 here, so government should find a place for us to trade before we leave here. And yes, sir, said almost of Master Jafono. Meanwhile, the Asukoko Municipal Assembly says effort is being made to secure a land for the woodworkers to relocate and continue their business.